and welcome to Our Mind Gym with Renee, a Team Ferris original production where we believe that motocross is more than just going fast. It is an empowering vehicle that teaches us how to navigate life. Join us weekly as we discuss the life lessons and growth mindset that give us a competitive advantage both on and off the track. Hello, hello, and welcome to episode seven of Our Mind Gym podcast series. I am your host, Renee Ferris, and today I want to talk to you about that voice in your head that shows up when you decide to step out of your comfort zone and go after your dreams. Now, it's one thing to have dreams and goals, but it's a whole other thing to actually do what it takes to make it happen. Now, last week, I shared with you some hacks on goal setting, and over the next couple of weeks, I want to spend our time together creating new perspectives that will allow us to overcome the roadblocks in our minds and make 2022 the year we break the cycle and bring our visions to life. So let's get into it. By this stage, you should have a pretty grand vision of what success actually looks like to you. And if you haven't yet succumbed to the pressures of your comfort zone, the idea of pursuing it should feel a little bit scary. And if it doesn't, you likely set the bar too low. So Grow some balls and set yourself a real goal, one that even the mere action of pursuing it sets your soul on fire. Okay, anyway, now bringing ourselves back to where we are today, there is a gap and this gap is the beautiful journey that we get to go on together. But it is also like a daunting cliff edge that sets our inner chimp into overdrive. Now, our inner chimp, for those who are unfamiliar with the term, is what we use to describe our amygdala, the part of our brain that regulates our emotions. Here, in our house, we literally imagine it like a little chimp that lives inside our mind, pushing buttons and sending emotions as feedback to try and guide us. Now, this helps us to separate ourselves from our emotions so that we can consciously choose how we respond to the different situations and events that we can experience instead of simply like reacting and letting our chimp drive. Without going too much into the science, our brain's amygdala, what we call the chimp, is part of your limbic system, which is predominantly responsible for managing our behavior to help us survive and reproduce. And because these are two very important elements of our life, our chimp takes their job very seriously. The problem is, They want us to stay wrapped in cotton wool inside our comfort zone. You see, our chimp uses past memories and experiences to predict what will happen next. And because you're here now listening to this podcast, that tells me that you have survived every moment that you have ever been through. Thus, your chimp, who is also naturally hmm, quite lazy, he wants you to keep pressing repeat and doing all the things that he knows you can survive. But as I said in last week's episode, I do not believe that we are here to just survive. And if you're still listening to me, then you also have a desire to go beyond mere survival and really thrive in your life here on earth. So now that you've set your sights on a vision outside of your comfort zone and you're ready to jump, it's time to look out for the chimp and prepare for the internal battle that you will have with each step moving forward. What happens is the further that we go from our comfort zone, the stronger and more insistent that our chimp will get. Basically, as you take risks and try new things, your chimp is going to show up in so many different forms to try and drag you back to old habits and patterns. So I've made a list of some popular personas to look out for. These are the ones that my chimp that my chimp turn up as and yours may very well come as well. And these are Distraction Dolly, Doubtful Debbie, Sweet Tooth Sally, Stressed Out Steve, Tired Terry, Worried Wendy, People Pleaser Penny, Frustrated Frankie, and Overwhelmed Oscar. So these voices in your head, they will get loud and overwhelming which is why I recommend vividly using your imagination to picture the chimp dressing up as these characters and talking to you in a funky voice 
something like Elmo or Minnie Mouse. Stop! Don't try that! Someone might laugh at you! Ah! Don't post that! People might think you're up yourself! Oh, okay. So, clearly I'm not taking up voiceovers anytime soon. But you get the point. The idea of this is that when you hear these voices, you're reminded of this gap that you are courageously making your way through and your chimp is there by your side. So when I teach this concept to my one-on-one clients, initially they want to just shoot their chimp and get on with their journey without the negative voices. But that too would have its consequences. Without your chimp, you would easily get overconfident and take less calculated risks. What I encourage is to make friends with your chimp. Treat him like a pet. Be grateful for his messages because they're helping keep you aware. When you get too cocky, these voices will remind you to take calculated risks and be mindful of your actions. Your chimp will help you notice things that you possibly may have missed on your own. So in summary, that voice in your head that doubts your decisions, distracts you from your mission, overwhelms you with ideas, worries you with fear, and encourages you to ignore your dreams and go along with the crowd, is merely your brain's survival mechanism doing its job. Thank you, brain. So, your mind gym exercise for this week is to notice it. And instead of taking these thoughts on as reality and allowing the chimp's mere suggestions to block you from moving forward, recognize them for what they are and choose how you want to respond. This exercise is the first step in taking control of your life and its outcomes. The better you get at this, the less influence the outside world, situations, circumstances will have over you and your success. It gets to be up to you. So enjoy this process and have fun with it. I know this episode was a short one, but I wanted to keep these mind gym exercises quick and punchy to the point so that you can use them each week, build on them, build these foundations and have a really strong and successful year and future ahead of you. So thank you once again for spending your time with me here today. It makes me so happy to know that you are showing up for yourself and saying yes to your dreams as I am mine. I'll see you back here next week.